All right, guys. So this is how you install OdoS or OldOS. So first off, you need to install this app called Test Flight. So you can just go to the App Store and type in Test Flight. And this is the Apple development program. And this is um, where developers can invite you to get access to an app. And that's how he's able to do this app for free. Okay, but once you have it, it's fine. Okay, once you have that installed, then you need to go over to Twitter. And I'll link it in the description. You need to type in at Zane um, HP, HIP. Okay, and basically you want to just scroll down. And keep scrolling down until you see a link kind of like this testflight.apple.com and make it sure it's you know only from like one day ago or so and then you want to click on it and then you want to click open once you have test flight installed and when test flights like this you just want to click continue and click accept and it might say that and then it'll say old os 8 and then what you want to do is you just want to click accept and then there you go and you just want to click install and that's all you have to do now sometimes the link will be filled and expired because how test flight works is there's going to be so many at a time so you might just have to wait until the next link comes out but um yeah so that's the thing how it works and basically it's almost done installing and once it's open you can open it and then you can just click OK. You do need iOS 14 at least to install this. And it'll say that. And then you can open it and it'll work. So yeah, guys. That's how you um kind of get it to work. And I think that's pretty cool. And it also shows up as an app right here. So yeah. I mean, it's definitely cool. And auto, it will automatically update. It does expire in 90 days. That's the expiration date until you have to get a new link. But um, yeah, guys, so that's how you do it.